Hi, welcome back. Um, today we will try YOLO V8 on Raspberry Pi 5. Um, just a note that I still haven't got the proper power supply, so please ignore the performance or frame rates. Um, I will make another video when I get the power supply, and then also I will do another experiment using a Corel TPU and um, Raspberry Pi camera module 3 um, so they are on the way so um, I'll make that in the future video but for now let's just um, install YOLO V8 and try what happens so let's um, clone this repo that I um, made so let's copy it um, And um, so basically, this repo we can ha like I have a CPU version for the Raspberry Pi Five, and then I also have a GPU version for what I trained on the Windows. I'll also make another video for this if people want. But for now, let's focus on uh, running stuff on the Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi Five. Um, uh, first, you need to have um, CMake. Um, that's because of when I exported to TensorFlow Lite format, that was required. Um, I already um, installed this, so it shouldn't make too much difference. Um, then let's create the Conda environment. So I'm using Python 3.9. I chose this um, version because I, I, I was told that the TPU um, for the Coral TPU that I'm going to experiment in the future, they like 3.9. So let's install. No, I mean create Conda environment. Um, some of them will take time to install. So I will fast forward um, in the editing later, but now, so let's conda activate. And then install YOLO V8. gonna take some time install a lot of stuff I will probably fast forward this ah one thing is that um, I'm in, like installing tensorflow later and then um, other stuff like tensorflow and onyx so I can convert them to a different format um, because, as I mentioned, I, the, my interest is to run TPU version and compare that, so I'm just preparing for it. Um, and also, there's another thing that I noticed when I experiment, when I was trying to export to TensorFlow Lite format, um, it was having an error, and then I googled a bit, and basically I need to upgrade the flat buffer buffer version to the latest one um, to make it work so basically just need to copy and paste this and then run that and hopefully you, you don't have any problem okay so so we just installed the uh, YOLO V8 um, let's install TensorFlow CPU version Paste. Hmm. Hello. Uh, installing. Oh, OK. 
Okay, so TensorFlow is installed. I'm gonna install the rest of them. Hmm. Oh, it's very slow, the remote is very slow. So currently I am um, using remote desktop to my Raspberry Pi to the recording because when I tried the recording on Raspberry Pi it was just a little bit too slow. So I'll install the last one. So hopefully everything's ready. So let's export um I'm, I'm gonna try the smallest um yolo v8 which is yolo v8 nano um and i will prepare i'll export all, everything first and then i'm gonna just run them one by one to like see how it runs and i probably have to switch um camera because at the moment this camera is not plugged in because i'm using that for recording this so I have to stop the video a little bit after that, but let's um, try this. Ah. ah, the one thing is that I was also getting some error um, like on Raspberry Pi because of the default. It's not UTF-8, so we want to run this first and I'm gonna run export this is gonna take some time uh, first it downloads the weights and doing the conversion I will probably fast forward this because it will take a long time not that long but not worth the video Wow, finally it finished. It took longer than usual, probably because of its busy sending stuff through remote desktop as well. It was taking a little bit less than this, but it was taking at least more than five minutes. So anyway, So let's run the YOLO V8 Nano. Um, this is 640 by 640. And if you run this, um, it's running. Yeah, the frame rate is not great. It's just barely hitting one frame per second. Um, so this is the kind of a default model if you just run it on Raspberry Pi. Um, also, I don't have the proper power supply, so it will probably run a bit faster, I'm expecting, like if I get the proper power supply. But I'm gonna just keep trying different models. So this is the Onyx model that we just exported. Um, so if we run this, we should get slightly faster frame rate, which is 
323 frame per second. It's slightly faster if you don't do the recording through the um, remote desktop. Um, and the last one is TensorFlow TF Lite version. And I'm running the quantized one. Basically, this one runs faster with a bit of compromise in the accuracy and we get 7 frames per second it runs slightly fast if I don't do the recording so this you can run and then it will automatically download and it will, it will work but this one that I'm about to show you you don't have access basically I access to I train the uh, smaller version in terms of resolution so I trained 320 by 320 overnight um, just for a test and then I exported it and the frame rate is a bit better 10 frames per second on the Onyx version format I mean and the quantized one runs much better as well um, but it's in the in low resolution so but in my project I probably don't need that much high resolution um, so if you run the custom and it runs uh, doo -doo. yeah 25 frame per second so this is because I'm displaying the um, debug UI as well so it will run a bit faster if I disable the debugging um, I will probably make another video um, about how to train a model like a like low resolution model and then maybe do a bit of explanation uh, about the code that I shared so it might be um, useful for you guys uh, but for now I will stop the video now so oh typo so I just want to run it with the showing frame um, frame per second without showing the display because display is slow so it runs around 29 frame per second so yeah, that's about it today. Um, thank you for watching. Bye bye.